This is a quick Fusion 360 tutorial on two things that uh, trip me up and I figure other people are probably going to be looking around for because I think they're pretty useful. To start off with, I'm going to grab this ALAV holder. This is just a little bracket I designed to mount the Aperture ALAV lav mic on my uh, camera's cage so it doesn't dangle off the mic port. And, you know, I designed this in Fusion 360 and I wanted to print it so I need to get into Cura to slice it. And for that, you need STLs. So you go File export and you look around and step set there's no stl in here so then you look around everywhere else and sketch create modify um there's nothing like export mesh stl nothing this is a weird thing in fusion 360 and it's kind of hidden away if you go up here to the bodies and you look at each individual body in your model here the bodies themselves are what get exported as an stl so if you click on this you can leave these settings as default generally. I've never had to mess with these. Hit OK, and there's your STL ready to print. I don't know why they can't just add that to the export menu, where I assume most people would go to look, but that's where it's at in Fusion 360. Now, the second weird thing is, let's say that you were either working on this mesh, maybe you imported somebody else's mesh and you wanted to make a change to it. Uh, just as a quick example, I'm going to take this mesh and cut through it. Now, because I cut all the way through it, these are actually two separate bodies and Fusion 360 notices these aren't touching, so it separated them into separate pieces. Now, let's say you wanted to export this so it printed exactly as they're sitting here. Same spacing, same everything. Well, the answer is not to save STL on this one, save STL on this one, bring them into your slicer, try to get them lined up. No, there's an easier way. What you actually need to do is right click and choose create new component and then take each of these bodies and drag them into the component. The component is kind of acting like a group here. Then the component itself, you can right click, choose save STL and you will get an STL with all of the pieces in their exact spots. Um, one reason this would be important is like if you've ever worked with a, a vehicle that has working axles and wheels, there's clearance all the way through so there's no part of the axle that's actually touching the body and that's how it's allowed to rotate. Well, when you import that into Fusion 360, it's going to say these aren't touching, these are separate bodies. And then when you try to export it back out with your modifications, you'll realize, oh, crap, the wheels and the axles are separate in the body. And and, you know, if you don't know this little trick, you're going to be trying to align everything manually. And it's just there's an easier way. So hopefully that helps somebody. If you get any more questions about working with STLs in Fusion 360, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.